Hello, my name is Tandori Biscuit, and today I will be showing you how to get this awesome crow's head for Mac in Recore. Now, to do this, you need to complete the first side mission called Cavern Rush. It's the first traversal side mission where it's jumping platforms. It's located here on the map. It is like to the top left of Pylon 512, and there's a little jumping puzzle to get there. Now, not only do you have to complete Cavern Rush, you have to complete all three secondary objectives in one go, in which one is to shoot eight red switches, so set your ammo to red before you set off, like I have done there, and that's the first switch to hit. The second is to find a yellow key and collect it, which isn't well hidden and it's coming up in a minute anyway. And the third is to complete it within three minutes, which is quite a tight time deadline. Um, my main tip would be to always jump and boost and to cut down on double jumps because double jumps literally just waste time if they are not necessary and they are quite slow to do and if you are going to double jump, double jump and boost straight away it's all about cutting them few seconds off here I finished this run with about 22 seconds to go and there's a third light switch and the key so again not that hard to find um, I did this with about 22 seconds to go and this is what I consider a good run. As you can see I was locking onto the fourth light switch there. Um, when getting the switches, make sure you're not on a moving platform, um, it just makes it easier. Also a little bit of advice, you can cut a good probably about 5-6 seconds here if you have Seth the Spider. Um, you unlock Seth not too long after unlocking this dungeon, so you may as well skip the dungeon for a little bit, go get Seth and then come back. And there's another switch, um, again stopping on a non-moving platform. I lost a few seconds here, you have to wait for the platform to be stationary here because it moves slightly but not for long and I timed that just perfect, you can do that all in one go. As you can see it's all about optimising your route. Um, right here there's some barriers, now the barriers you need to be jumping at them when they're up because they're not on a long timer and they go down as you hit them. Um, if you jump when they're down, you've got a high chance of hitting a barrier because it'll come up just as you hit it. And then again, there's a sixth light switch. The seventh is there, which I can already lock onto from here. I'm not going to shoot it because obviously your accuracy is not as good here. Um, on this one, I always choose to go left. Um, it's just preference. It's quite a long jump to make. The barrier can go up. You know, it's really hard jump to make and it's easy to go left. You should have spare time. And on this bit, I had really good RNG. You have to wait for the barrier just to be passing you, but you only lose a few seconds at most there. And the eight switch is really easy to find. It is literally just there right at the end. Just stop there, and then slowly, do not fall on this bit as I've done in the past, make your way. Death isn't final in this. You will lose a few seconds, and you will respawn a bit back, but you can still do these jumping platforms puzzles with... A death so that's not the end of the world and for doing all three in one run not only do you get the free rewards you also get the crow's head um, in the rewards you also get the entirety of a green set for Mac and the green set if you build the entire green barebone set which you just saw two pieces of if you build that entire set you get a nice little achievement as well so there's some achievement score um, only if obviously you're going for like 100% or gamer score actually still matters. Um, you also get two prismatic cores as well, so you can unlock stuff earlier, etc. And here's the final case this is for doing all three. So you get the last piece of the green bare bone set and the crow head, which you don't even have to build as a blueprint. If this video helped you out, please leave it a like, share it with your friends etc. I'll be doing a lot more recall content so subscribe to this channel and follow me on Twitter at Tandoori Biscuit and in the outro I'm leaving a link to how to get the crow's head for Seth the Spider as well. It's another jumping puzzle but this one's a lot harder so make sure you watch that. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Show you the crow's head which in my eyes looks incredible. I don't know the stats because I'm too low level to equip it but that just looks incredible and I'll just show you the body part as well which you can unlock for blueprints.